Hi everyone, I am Sheila Quinn, Recreational Activities Technician for Champlain Lennoxville. And today we're going to talk about, this is PODS episode four, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the SafeGator app. All right, so you've been to campus several times and hopefully you're using this because we all need to. So if there are days that you haven't and that you need to log in again, you can do so. So here's how it works. On your phone, go to the App Store, Google Play, whatever, and download the SafeGator app. It looks like this. What you do once you have it on there is you see there's that part with the red blobs and it says COVID-19. You click on that and you'll see that there is a portion that shows self-assessment. Click on there. You're going to indicate if you have any symptoms or if you've been in contact with anybody who has COVID-19 or is awaiting testing or that sort of thing. And then it'll ask you information about yourself. So you're going to go through um, and put in your, you make sure that you say that you're a student, put in your first and last name, your email, your contact number, uh, the date. You always have to change the date. Um, it's not automatic, so make sure, and this is why if there was a day where all of a sudden you're like, hey, I was there yesterday and I didn't log in properly, or maybe it didn't work, or some, maybe you had a, a situation or a glitch, um, log in. But what we're doing is making a habit of logging in when we all go on campus right away. So for a department or company, you can put in uh, Champlain, and uh, since you're at, at Champlain College, anytime there's something that you're not sure of, that's what you can you can add it in terms of information about yourself. And the reason that we're using this application is to make sure that if there's a situation where you've been in a building and in contact with someone who tests positive for COVID-19 or where there is an issue, that you can be contacted to let you know that you might need to be tested or be a little more careful or that sort of thing. So it's something that we're all adapting to this year. Um, please make sure and go through for any days that you have been on campus and not used it so that we can track properly, um, so that we can participate properly, just to have an idea about what's going on. And um, if you have issues when you're on campus related to COVID-19, you can always contact Bishop's University Security. They're amazing and can help you out. You'll also see the Safe Gator Squad, uh, who most of you met. Uh, those of you who were incoming first years, you will have met them when you were at your orientation because they were greeting everyone at the door and they cleaned everybody's seats between the 10 groups that we hosted that day. So again, uh, Safe Gator app. Here we're now in that self-assessment page. Um, go through, make sure to change the date and um, list the, the buildings that you were in. If there is ever a time where you're not sure about a, a building, um, you can actually go right to the Bishops University website because they have a really comprehensive map of the buildings. If there's a name you don't remember, you can always check that one out. So there you go. SafeGator app, uh, we're all using it. Everybody who works or everybody who comes onto campus needs to log in with it. And it's a lot easier to do that than to have to sign in when you go into the buildings. So uh, it's an easy way to take care of stuff. So there you have it. Everybody have a great day and um, there's more to come from the pod soon. Toodles.